good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be trying out the demo for Lies of P. I am super excited about this game. And whenever they said there was a demo for it at the Summer's Game Fest, I could not wait to play it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start a new game. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. So far, the graphics look really nice. jump can't do anything yet oh no l2 does something what's this jim, soon. i see they got jiminy too but we have to hurry my name is sophia Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Okay, so that's my lantern, I'm guessing. I thought it was going to give me like a little um, mark, not a marker, but like a, a string of light or something. But I guess that's our lantern. It's all good. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. Uh, that is a lot of blood. I'm guessing this is where we get our weapon. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Path of the Cricket. That's balanced. Path of the Bastard. Dexterity. Path of the Sweeper Strength. Well, hmm. I think I kind of want to go Path of the Balance. Path of the, path of the Balance. <laughs> path of the Cricket Balanced. Let's try this out. Can I? Oh, switch character display. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. It actually shows us the different stats so strength is going to get a ton of HP but the least amount of stamina most guard rega regain weight limits gonna be higher obviously the physical attacks gonna be more and the defense um yeah let's go with balanced His arm is pretty messed up. Okay. 
R1 is our fast attack. Holding down R1 do anything? Nope. Circle R1. Yeah, yeah, I guess it does have kind of a different move for circle R1. R2 is our heavy attack. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. If you hold down R2, you get a like double sweep. Let's try to kill an enemy. Just playing around. Ooh, okay. Uh, running's pretty easy, similar to Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Hold down circle. We are playing on the pay PlayStation 5, by the way. Nice oil all over him. Goodness, that's loud. Um, hopefully that's not too loud for everybody else. What did we just pick up? This right here. Sawtooth wheel. A cog wheel that is common. Uh, that is a common sight in Krat. It can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Even worthless items can become useful if you, if you collect them. Everything uh, became useful in battle in the paralyzed city. Okay. I'm not going to read a bunch of this stuff, but I'm guessing some of this stuff is going to have like lore in it, kind of like how Souls games do it. Small lamp with a cricket uh, guide puppet inside. It illuminates the darkness with a faint light. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. What's this? The maximum number of... Okay. That was too fast to read. Uh, pulse cell. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. Okay, so it's like Estus or uh, Blood Vials. I'm not going to try to compare this too much to a Souls game, even though that it definitely looks like it. But I don't like to do... Like, even with Neo, a lot of people say, hey, it's Souls-like. I just want to separate this game from itself, so... I might reference it a little bit like, oh, this is kind of Souls-like, but this is its own game. There's a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cells will be gradually charged. Oh, okay. So if we use all our cells, they'll get recharged. Is that what it's saying? Oh, that looks cool. Come here, boy. The combat is very tight. Very tight. Very fluent. They did a good job on the combat. Dim Ergo Fragment. What does that do? Obtain Ergo. 100 Ergo. A fragment of Ergo. A mysterious power stone that can be found in Krat. Geppetto's puppet can observe Ergo. Absorb, not observe. <laughs> absorb Ergo to turn into power. So I'm assuming we use that to level up. That's what I'm going to assume. Um, okay. Well, we need a key to get through there. You cannot see the dark. Switch Whoa. on and gently light away. Excuse me, sir. I want to see if there's a backstab. Guess not. I'm going to try it again because that was a little janky on my part, trying to get behind him on the stairs. 
Hopefully there's another. Um, this looks like the way to go. Let's go down here real quick. See if there's anything over here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you come here. I want to see if I can't backstab you, sir. I like that. I like that a lot. Thermite. Use belt. Activate upper belt slot with the D-pad up on the D-pad. Lower belt slot down with the D-pad. Square to use items. Yep, I kind of figured that square is using items. Hold down X for an extra bag. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That's cool. I I like that. I like this a lot. That way you're not just pressing down down and down and down and down and down until you get to your item. You press up and down. Cool. All right. We'll have to see how that feels in combat either it's gonna feel really good and and tight or it's going to feel a little janky and off-putting and take some getting used to one of the two i guess we'll see sneak up uh now it now it's like hey you can get backstabs Nice. Something big is down there. I hear it. Oh, whoa. Look at this guy. You're a big boy. I'm gonna try this. I was too far away to get the double swing off passengers note mm, I don't feel like reading we'll do all that when the game actually comes out until then is this an ambush probably is shit where'd you come from sir nice does some good damage can I two hand I don't think I can I don't think you can two hand in here lock device there are doors and ladders all throughout Krat or Krat. Maybe it's Krat um, that are locked by devices. You can unlock the door doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Fable Catalyst. There's that guy. I'm assuming this is the shortcut. Just in case we die. Oh. It opens on its own. My bad. What? What did I just get? Fable Catalyst. A catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities rapidly charges Fable. Hmm. I don't know what that is. What's block? L1. Let's see your moves. You got a wide swing. What else we got? We got another wide swing. Another wide swing. Is that all you do? Ooh. You got a. Ooh, 
you can move just as fast. Holy shit. That was a combo. Ouchies. I don't want to use that yet until I figure out this guy's moves. Ooh, holy shit. You recover so fast, my dude. Ooh. Shoulder bump. Two can play that game. Oh, what? What's on the bottom? It says L and triangle. L one and triangle and triangle. Let's try the triangle first. Whoa, that's fucking cool. Let's throw that shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, bud. <laughs> I win. You lose. Nice. Okay, I don't know what I'm... I'm guessing that's like my special. Like the meter fills up in the bottom right. And then you can use them. I don't know. Anything else in here? Yeah, his arm is super messed up. Crot Central Station Plaza. Ooh. Is this a checkpoint? It absolutely is. Stargazer activated. Stargazer. You use a stargazer to fully recover HP and stamina as well as charge your pulse uh, cells. You will revive at this point upon death. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. Okay. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment... Gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Uh, let's use that. So we can level up and use storage. So we can store some stuff. Cool, 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 cool. Level up. How much do we have? Two? One, two. Mm, I'm not going to use that yet. That's pointless. Let's go over here. Oh, all right, puppy. Dim ergo fragment. Oh, where the fuck do you, do you come from? 
There's a guy out there standing in the rain. Nice. There's two of them. Oh, I wanted to get a backstab. Oh, you bastard. Clear Ergo Fragment. Keep wanting to say Ego because it kind of looks the same. Sweet. I get iframes with backstabs. That's what I was trying to test out. They had iframes in this game. Sawtooth wheel. Okay, so that's our throwing items. Fabled catalyst. I still don't know what the fuck those do. They didn't really explain it. And that's okay. We'll figure all this out eventually. I have a feeling that's the way to go. Let's see what's over here. See a guy over there. Can I get over here? I can. Oh, and fucking dogs. Damn it. Jeez. That was close. Some more fable catalyst. That must be some kind of consumable you're going to need. Crot times issue 183. We're not going to worry about that either. Like I said, I I'm I'm gonna be reading this when the like all the lore and stuff when the game comes out. But for now, just exploring. Probably won't uh, fight a boss today. I'm just exploring. Once we get up to a boss or what looks like a boss room, we're probably gonna cut the video and come back. There's a guy down there. Oh, that shocked. Interesting. I fucking love the backstab animation. Anything over here? Nope. Whoa, well, nah. I knew he was right there, but I figured because I was in a backstab animation, I didn't need to go there. Or need to go there. <laughs> I wasn't going to get hit. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm talking about. Trying to think and talk at the same time. Words, Mr. Wayne. Words. Use them. Better heal. Ooh, we get quite a bit of health. Clear Ergo Fragment. We picked up another one of those. Um, well, there's definitely an item back over there.
Fable art. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Use Fable Blade with Triangle while guarding. Use Handle Fable Arts. Huh. Weapons have distinct blade uh, blades and handles that each have their own Fable Arts or art. Fable Arts use up Fable Slots. Um, and different Fable Arts use a different number of slots. Charge Fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Okay, so it's the blue stuff up top. Okay, not the bottom right, but the blue stuff up top. Ooh, you're big. Oh. I wonder, can I parry? Oh, whoa. I don't think so. Nope. I don't think we can. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, sir. You need to calm your shit. I'm getting reckless now. He's doing so good. Shouldn't have tried to parry this guy. Oh. Oh. Okay, I have no more health left. That was terrifying. <laughs> I'll figure out the parry system. If there is one, that is. Come here, sir. I have a feeling there's like a dog or something over there. I do like their ambushes. Damn it. I fucking knew it as soon as I went over there. It's like, damn, there's going to be somebody over there. Or a dog. Looks like there's a dog in front of us, too. Let's go over here. Oh, look at that. He would have ambushed us. I didn't mean to get you guys' attention, but okay. At least the dogs aren't as bad as Bloodborne and fucking Dark Souls. I absolutely hate dogs and Bloodborne and Dark Souls. Ah, oh, they're the worst. I'm guessing this is the path to go. Vinaginis? Vin 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 fuck, I can't even pronounce that word. Veninis? Vinaginis? I don't know. Veninis? It's French, so I'm sure G's don't sound like G's. And I. Okay. I was like, I hear some shit. Oh, I hear a lot of shit. The whole fucking crowd came out to meet me. Oh, whoa. Um, weapon's about to break. That's not good. Can I repair it? Is there anything next to me? How the fuck am I going to repair this? 
What's this? Vin Vinaginis, Vinaginis, I don't know. Instantly repairs weapon durability. An emergency repair tool made by whatever immediately restores weapon durability. An emergency repair tool that whatever made to support stalkers. Regrettably, its manufacturing facility was destroyed during the puppet puppets occupy whatever. Um, I can't speak right now. Uh, so it has become a rare item. Hopefully this is not the only way to fucking repair our weapon. That's a throwing item. That's health. What is this? Grinder. Repairs weapon durability. Weapon durability decreases each time you attack enemies with, with a weapon. Use the grinder to repair weapon durability. When durability is low, weapon or attack decreases. When durability falls to zero, the weapon will be destroyed. Oh shit, and cannot be repaired with a grinder. Thus, it is advised to keep an eye on it. Yeah, holy shit. So how do we use this? You gotta hold it down? Okay. That's interesting. Glad, uh, whatever, Vinaginis, <laughs> or Vinaginis, whatever, isn't the, oh, what's this? Is it a fucking circus? Oh, hey, I think this is the shortcut from earlier. <clears throat> the one that shocked me. Yep. This leads to the beginning. Is there a cloak on that fucking thing? There is. That's pretty fucking gnarly. Huh. Welcome to Crocs. Nope, that's not the way. Was it this way? A powerful parade puppet is blocking the entrance. And that's the only way in. So please, be careful. So I'm guessing there's going to be a boss fight coming up. Whoa. Hey, excuse me. Fuck off, bud. Let's talk to this guy. Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. Let's see. Fable Catalyst, I guess we can't buy any more of those. Throwing Cell. A large output battery that can be thrown. Inflicts electric blitz damage at the area of impact. Okay. Electric blitz abrasive. Hmm. Temporarily imbues weapon with electric blitz. So we it, it's going with electricity. It must want us to use electricity and I'm sure that the boss is coming up soon hopefully we don't accidentally step into the boss room introducing the parade puppet I have a feeling that this is the boss room over here. Kind of looks like it. 
Yeah, that is definitely a boss arena. That's a boss arena. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is kill this guy. See if he'll give me any ergo. And then he is about to be groggy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So when their when their like health thing starts blinking, like their health bar, is he hurting me? And then, huh? Can I? Let's see. Let's see if I can block. Okay, maybe that's how you parry. Nice. I did not successfully do that. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to that lamp thing or whatever it is, the stargazer, not lamp. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to farm up some Ergo so we can level up. Um, I don't know, maybe like 10,000. Um, because we're going to end the video here in just a moment. I'm going to kill these enemies now that I know how to repair my weapon. And I'm going to practice parrying and see if... Like, I can get a parry or stun an enemy that way or something. And just kind of figure out some of the mechanics off screen so I'm not uh, wasting a bunch of people's time. But so far, playing Lies of P, really like it. I think the combat is good so far. Although I haven't really seen enough of it to make a definitive decision on you know the combat I mean obviously going into a boss and, and fighting some bosses and stuff like that is really going to determine how the go uh, how the combat feels whether it feels more weighty or, or what but for now graphics look amazing it's running fairly smoothly I mean I haven't had any um, frame drops that I've noticed at least I mean I might have uh, but because I've been looking at everything and kind of <laughs> intrigued by the world I might have had some uh, frame drops but overall game looks absolutely gorgeous combat feels fun and fluid and it's running smooth like so far running smooth so on that note I want to tell everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching my first video on the demo of the lies of P. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.